please welcome Mr. Jean-Marie Gueno, President and CEO, International Crisis Group. Good evening and welcome to our 20th anniversary celebration. It is my great privilege to represent the International Crisis Group tonight. But as I stand before you, I'm actually well aware that we have an immense challenge before us. The international community today is more aspiration than reality. And when we look at the last five years, we see more conflicts, more, per more people killed, more refugees. But we should not forget that at the same time there is always the power of human will and that war is never preordained. This year we celebrated progress in Colombia. We celebrated progress in Myanmar. And at Crisis Group we are proud of our contribution to the Iran nuclear negotiation. which demonstrates that diplomacy can make a difference. Certainly, there must be better ways to find peace than just ordering another round of air strife. 20 years ago, Crisis Group was founded to bring what is often, to be frank, in short supply when it comes to ending conflict. That is knowledge, that is imagination, and that is energy. And the organization owes its life to the wisdom and generosity of a group of exceptional people. I'm pleased that uh, two of them are here tonight with us, Mark Malak brown one of our co-chairs, and George Soros. I also would want to acknowledge our founder, Mort Abramovitz, that you, who have, whom you have just seen on the video, and George Mitchell, who were not able to join us tonight, and also the late Steve Solars, whose widow, <laughs> Nina, is here tonight, and she's a terrific champion of our work. Thank you, Nina. And I'd like to thank the many good friends and generous donors who join us here tonight. You. It is thanks to all of you that Crisis Group is now a truly global organization with a board of trustees from no less than 32 countries and I've stopped counting the number of nationalities in our staff. My most sincere congratulations also to our outstanding honorees, including Sadako Ogata, who unfortunately couldn't come from Japan, but Sadako has been an extraordinary leader of the UN Refugee Agency. She has worked hard to mitigate the dreadful human cost of conflict. And also my appreciation to our presenters tonight, all of whom could deserve, would deserve awards on their own rights. I also, if I may, would like to salute our staff members who are here tonight with us. To be frank, they have more experience with checkpoints, curfews, warlords, than they have with galas. <laughs> and they have extraordinary stories to tell, so I I hope you will have a chance to meet some of them tonight. Our job, their job, is not getting any easier. And yet, with courage, with persistence and political savvy, it is possible to make a difference, which sometimes in a conflict is the difference between life and death. One last thought. Tonight, as we celebrate 
20 years of hard work, we should be encouraged by the people who now enjoy peace after the horrors of, of, of war, from Kosovo to Liberia, from Sierra Leone to Timor-Leste. But we need to renew our commitment for all those who are still in the darkness of war and struggling to find the path to peace. They count on us. They count on all of you. Thank you for your support. Now